We're at Infocision Stadium in the rubber capital of the world, Akron, Ohio. This coin toss presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Number Arizona State is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Taken from the three-yard line. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Throws this one out to the right. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. There's a strike complete. And down he goes, right around the 48-yard line. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. Throws and it's incomplete. This one will be interference, but who's it going to be called on? That's interference. Defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game for your rest. That'll make it second and seven. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 35-yard line. it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 19. Well, this is just outstanding execution by the quarterback and the wide receiver. I mean, you look at that throw and you think, oh my God, what are you doing? You're throwing that into coverage. But only he knows the confidence that he has in his wide receiver to have the ability to come down with the football for that first down. That's big time there between the quarterback and the wide receiver. From the 21 yard line, second down. Makes it to the eighth. Unbelievable. They can't get this offense off the field. Oh, they've been like a machine on this drive. Very methodical and efficient. And once again, they're moving the chains. And he's taken down at the 11. That brings him second. It's the ninth play of the drive. He's tackled right around the 12 yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and goal. From the 12 yard line, third down. And he's tackled at the six yard line. That brings us fourth and goal. We played one. Still no score. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Akron could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. 
Tackle made at the 27-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games that you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He heaves it deep. Dropped. It might not be a lot of fun, but when you're a receiver, you've got to be able to take some hits and hang on to the football. It's just part of the game. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting him in the backfield. He lets it fly. Doesn't get there. Wow, Brad, you talk about having a strong arm. Next time, though, he might want to work on the accuracy. Tackle at the 50-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. He's wrapped up for the sack. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. So the sack makes this a second and long. Akron has a three-point lead. Gets rid of it quickly. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Rose. Got it to the senior. And he's finally out of bounds at the seven. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. It was a six-play, 50-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Fielded at the four. Fumble, loose ball. And they finally make the stop at the 19-yard line. Akron's offensive coordinator. I don't know if he saw something in that defense in that first quarter, but right now they're rolling. You know, they started off a little bit slow, but give him a lot of credit for making the adjustments, and all of a sudden he's made enough adjustments to put his offense in a position to put up a lot of points. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review of the play, the ruling, the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. 
from their own 24-yard line. First down. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. Takes the ball inside. He fights forward to about the 26. They need to do a better job of managing the clock here. You're right, Fred. Not only was that a horrible play in terms of yards picked up, but also, as you mentioned, in terms of all the time that may be wasted. Tackle at the 37. Arizona State's going to use their first time out of the half here. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's got it with room to run. Still dragging guys. And they make the stop at the 48. This receiving core runs some great routes. And that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. Throws it deep. No, incomplete. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Zips with a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud and they got three receivers to my side and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So... You can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25. The Zips continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. He's brought down in the open field. And he is drilled at the 44-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. complete he's got room to work steps out of bounds right around the 50. That brings him second and five. Quick throw incomplete one of his receivers. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He's at the 40, and it's caught. Brought down at the 35. That's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. 
Quick out to his receiver. And he's leveled at the 31 yard line. Number 20 makes the tackle at the 31 yard line. That makes it second and six. They'll bring him down at about the 29 yard line. Strike to the receiver, and they push him out around the 23-yard line. I love to see this quarterback respond when this offense really needs them to pick him up. Your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success. Easy, Fires it out. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it second and six. A quarter to go, and can they pull the upset? The Zips with a 10-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Man left, man left. Just under two minutes in the game. That's a great tackle at the nine. That makes it first and goal. And down he goes around the three yard line. Gain of six yards. That brings him second and goal. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he tacks on the extra point. Bring him down at the 43. You look up at the clock, Herbie, and there's not a lot of time to make something happen here. No, it's been ugly for both of these offenses. you got to think about maybe spreading out the defense, giving your quarterback a chance to either run or throw. Somebody's got to make a play here to determine the outcome of the game. This is a pretty crucial series right here with things being so tight. Your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. A little handoff. And he hits him hard at the 41-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. From the 41-yard line, second down. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Arizona State will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. A little over a minute in the game. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. He's at the 20. He makes his way to about the 18. I think the defense put everything into that sequence of plays. And for the offense to come up with a first down really is demoralizing for the defense. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Inside the 10. And he tackles him hard at the eight yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 10-7, Akron. 10.
Arizona, Arizona State, State seven. seven. That brings, that brings this broadcast to a close. Game, 3A Sports and Kirk Curb Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.